is 8.51 a.m. and I am up and ready to hit the gym. Gotta get in my exercise. I'm gonna do 30 minutes on a treadmill today. I'm not playing about my health, y'all. Gotta do my part. Guy gonna do his and the doctor's gonna do theirs. Gotta take care of ourselves. Hopefully there's nobody in here because I like being in here by myself. And there isn't. Look at God. I want to do it. But it's a great feeling to know that I have a gym in my building. Let me get to wiping everything down and get started. Before I begin, I like to wipe the equipment down. COVID is real and germs are real as well. I bring my wipes down every morning, my earphones, my phone, so I can listen to some good old music. While I'm down here, my water bottle, a mask, just in case anybody else comes in. And I get to crack a lacking. Let me throw this away. Today, um, I'm not going to do the app that I've been using. It's called Walk Fit because I haven't exercised in a week. So today, I'm just going to freestyle it just to get my body back acclimated to walking. Pull my earphones out, get my iPod, earpods out. But I'm gonna do 30 minutes for sure. Let me get my earphones on. Turn the machine on, turn the fan on. I'm just gonna start off doing two miles per hour to warm up. As you guys can see I completed six laps this day I was so proud of myself and I went 40 minutes reached a new goal get it bitch what's up you guys going to the plastic surgeon's office today to talk about my breast reduction surgery as I informed you guys I'm going to be doing a lumpectomy breast reduction so they're going to do both surgeries back to back in the same session so I didn't get a really good pic or video of this outfit when I wore it on my birthday trip, but I'm wearing some Shein earrings, necklace, Shein, a little two piece set, some Amazon socks, a little ankle bracelet, some white Air Forces, my Fendi purse, coach watch, 
and my Versace bracelet. So this is how we're going to the doctor's office. I'll be vlogging today as I go. Wish me luck. Yeah. I hope me and the doctor are on the same page when it comes to how far I want to get them reduced. Like I really want to go small. I have had big boobs since I was a child. I started developing literally like when I was in the first grade. So by the time I was like in the sixth grade, I was already in a D cup bra. So I have had these titties for 40 years. It is time for them to go. It is time for them to say goodbye. So I really want to go like down to like a C. I'm currently now a 44 H. Yes, ma'am. It's ridiculous. So I really want to go small. Um, I don't want to have no titties. I want them to be perky, of course. Um, but most importantly, of course, my main concern is getting the lump removed. Um, it hasn't grown any, thank God. Um, it's still the same size. So I'm expecting for my surgery to probably to be scheduled within like the next two weeks. So we're going to see. I'll keep you guys abreast on everything. I'm not nervous at all, I guess, because I've had so many surgeries in the past. I'm not really nervous about the surgery part. I'm not really nervous about any of it. I'm just ready to be cancer free and for this to be over with. Um, I'm just dependent on God, leaning on him for favor. And I just put all my trust in him. Can't put trust in man. No, I will not. No, I will not. So things are coming along wonderfully with the movie. I'm going to include some clips of some of the set locations we're going to use for the movie. I'm so excited. I am disappointed, however, that I won't be able to be there physically on set. But my director, Dennis, is holding me down. So check out some of the set locations we're going to use. And if you have not read Paper Heart yet, what are you waiting for? The link to all of my books are down below. Paper Heart is available on Kindle, Nook, and Paperback. Please read the book before the movie comes out so you can know fully what their story was about and be prepared to see the movie. I'm so excited. And I'm going to uh, add a clip of one of the rehearsals that we had as well. This is moving from the front door, basement stairs down, the flight of steps up. This would be for Scotland's apartment, <clears throat> living room, kitchen. Deck, powder room. That's the first floor. What's up? What's up, sis? Nothing at work, just. Don't act like you don't want to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Whatever. Guess who was at Posh last night, girl? Oh, yeah, yeah. Murder, Jamil, Chance, and all the West Side boys. That's nice. Bitch, don't act like you don't care. I don't care. Look, last time I saw Murder, I was leaving Happy Hour Bar and Grill, and he had that big sweetie looking bitch sitting in his car. Bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. These kids are peeing everything I say. I'm gonna fuck around and get fired. Hold on, hold on, girl. Play. Action. Oh, shit. I'm tired as fuck. Okay. <laughs> bitch, what you tired from? You ain't did shit all day. Oh, oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, you know why I'm tired? I'll what? tell you why I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Because y'all man <laughs> came through and uh, blew that back out last night, bitch. That's why I'm tired. <laughs> bitch, you wish, okay? Anyway, no, bitch. for real. I'm tired because I was bright and Taylor hair all oh, damn night. Oh, bitch, while you was joking about doing your back blue out, uh -huh. I actually got my shit cracked last okay, night. Okay, then. Oh, and, Bye, and, Romeo. And you probably say that, right? You probably say that about that weak motherfucker Cause uh, bitch he only comes around to crack that back mm. He don't give you no money for your fucking son Wow 
And I bet you ain't get that three hundred dollars back that he stole from y'all. Oh, girl, okay. what the fuck wrong with you? Dog? First of all, bitch, I'm not even starting. He took that money. Oh, oh, it was God. a lot of other people <laughs> in my house that day, so don't do him like that. And mm -hmm. he said this time we got to work on being a family through this time. Oh, oh, it did he. You sound stupid as fuck, okay? Either way it go, your baby daddy is a thief. With a thieving ass. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck wrong with you. You're quiet. Um, At the doctor's office, waiting to be seen. My blood pressure was high. I think it's because I didn't take my Cetraline the last two days for my anxiety. That's the only thing I could think of. But they have me in the little shirt or whatever so she can come check the boobies so we're gonna see what she says i don't know why my blood pressure is high that got me concerned because that is a no bueno i don't need no more health problems jesus none so i just spoke with the doctor about lumpectomy versus mastectomy and i have some big decisions to make Oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I'll talk to you guys more about it when I get home. I'm so confused. This is a lot to deal with. I don't really know. I don't know. This is like a huge life altering decision to make and I don't know which one to do. I really don't. I'm just gonna have to go to God and pray about it and get discernment from him because this is crazy. I don't know discuss implants i might do a mastectomy now <sighs> we'll see this is so weird oh okay well, yeah i don't care about having no mastectomy I have had these things for 40 years. My back has been killing me. I would rather do that and not have to worry about it coming back. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, this is totally different because this is a mastectomy, well, yeah. you know. But like she said, hopefully. Well, Charlie since, went through that. Yeah. Yeah, but well, hopefully since my breasts are so large that she will be able to salvage and make it, you know, what it needs I to be. Because I really don't want no implant. I don't, I don't no, I mean, I'll just be happy with what I got, to be honest with you. As long as I'm alive and well, that's all I care about. All that other stuff. Yeah. Uh-uh. So I'll nine times out of 10 be happy with what I got and just be done with it and not have to deal with it no more. Yeah. Back home from the doctors. Got to rush in the house because I am late for a podcast that I have to do regarding my book, Dream 2. And I'm late. My doctor's appointment went longer than I expected. I gotta run to the mailbox and get my packages. First, it is blazing hot outside. Jesus the Christ. Oh shit, my trash can came. Be right back. Logging on for my podcast interview. Page is not working. Reload. Okay, set up your microphone now. Plug it in. Power it on. Okay, let's join session. Hey, girly. Hey. 
Hi, how are you doing? Good and you. I'm recording. Well, I can hear myself. Vlogging. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Because do you have headphones? No, uh uh. Okay, what happened? Okay, is it better? Is it better? Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Hi. <laughs> you don't even understand. I'm like, I'm nervous. Why? Because, you know, like, I'm going to be completely transparent. Like, I've been a reader of yours for a very long time. Oh, thank you. I am one of those annoying readers who goes in your live and be like, girl, when are you going to do a meet and greet? Like, I mean, I love y'all, but I don't really like y'all like that. <laughs> And so when I started my podcast, like your name was first, and I'm just like, I know she's never gonna say yes. Oh, girl, but I would have said yes. I was like, she's never, because I'm like, I'm just starting out. I was like, and when I did my book review, I wasn't gonna tag you. Really? I don't really think I wasn't gonna do it, but then I was like, you know what? This interview is really funny. We love this book. I'm just gonna tag her, and then when you responded to me, I was like. Oh my god they gave me like all the confidence in the world <laughs> i was like oh my god she's gonna come on but check it when i was like i saw you interviewing everybody else i was like why she didn't ask me she don't like me <laughs> no i listen this is like a dream to like even speak to you because i'm like always in your instagram lives uh -huh. and you do all your book reviews after we done read and you be getting on your nerves i be in there <laughs> Really, Amy? I knew all my questions. And so, yeah, I'm just so Well, thank you so here. much. I really, really, truly, from the bottom of my, of my heart, appreciate all of your love and support. Like I always tell you guys, it is readers and supporters like you that keep me going, child, because I have wanted to quit several times. But you no, all no, keep no. me going. We're not going to let you do that because <laughs> I have so many, like, things that I feel like I know. I'm going to ask some questions that I've asked in the past and uh -huh. I've never given any of us an answer. So I'm going to see. Oh, really? Oh, God. Oh, God. The answer <laughs> that I want. Okay. Hopefully it's all yeses. So we're here to talk about Dream 2. It was all a dream, which I absolutely loved. Did you really? It's not an, I'm gonna, it's not a Keisha and Irvin book if I don't want to fight you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you put a cliffhanger. I was like, sis, I didn't wait it eight months. Can you believe me like this? Uh-uh, I need answers. So you guys, after visiting the plastic surgeon's office today and talking to her and going over everything that my doctor and I went over a week or so ago and talking to my family, I have decided to change my treatment. Um, I'm going to do a mastectomy now instead of doing the lumpectomy uh reduction with the type of cancer that i have i could do either or the misconception with um getting a mastectomy is that that just means you automatically won't ever get cancer again and that's not the case you still have a chance but it's a lower chance a very much lower chance than with just the lumpectomy so i've decided to like i said get the mastectomy get all the tissue removed from my breast but because my breasts are so large um the doctor was saying that she'll be able to salvage a lot of my skin and probably still be able to give me about a good B or C cup. Now, after the surgery, um, I'll be, the surgery itself will last for about four to five hours. Afterwards, I'll have a drain, about two drains, she said, in my boobs. They'll either um, wrap me up with gauze or I'll have to wear a sports bra home. I'll spend the night in the hospital just to make sure I'm okay. I'll come home. I'll be on, um, uh, bed rest for a few weeks or whatever I can't do anything strenuous for a few weeks I cannot lift anything for six weeks or raise my hands above my head so Kyrisa my friends and fam will have to really help me out as far as meals and all of that stuff um I'll be sleeping on my back again I gotta get prepared for that but the best thing about it is I won't have these heavy ass boobs anymore um, as I stated earlier, I've had titties my whole life, 
I don't really care about them being smaller or being gone. I have had extreme back pain my whole life, neck pain, shoulder pain, bras digging into my shoulders, and my breasts are just humongous. They're like literally the size of watermelons, both of them. So, you know, it's time to say goodbye. They had 40 great years. We had a lot of fun with them. A lot of boys got to lick on them. <laughs> So, you know, they did what needed to be done. Now it's time to move on. Um, I will let you guys know when surgery is. They're thinking about like within the like next three weeks. So I'll let you guys know because, of course, I won't be filming during that time. But I will be back. Um, I'm okay with my decision. Like I said, it's not really a big thing to me. My main thing is becoming cancer free. I know I'm going to become cancer free. Now, after the surgery, they're going to do another pathology test on me to see just how, um, bad the cancer tumor was. So the Depending on what they find, that will determine whether or not I will need radiation or chemotherapy or both or neither. We're of course, praying for neither, but if I had to do either or, it would be radiation. I really don't want to do chemo, um, but I'm praying that I won't have to do either or. Um, also, uh, if I do do radiation or chemo, that will mess with the size of the breast or whatever. So afterwards, after treatment, I can then go back and do a breast implant if I want to. I really don't want to have an implant in my body. I already have a mesh line in my stomach from the hernia surgeries that I've had. So I really don't want anything else foreign in my body. Prayfully, I will be happy enough with my breasts after the mastectomy. I won't have a nipple anymore, but I don't really give a damn about no goddamn nipple, no way. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at with everything. As you guys saw, everything is coming along great with the film. Today, I also had the fitting with the... um two leads the clothes and everything look great we start filming next week I'm going to try to fly out at least for a day before I have to have my surgery um filming for paper heart will be in Detroit everybody is on their a game Don is doing a fantastic job Yada um, who's playing murder is on point y'all are gonna love him you as you can see the girls got it and ran with it like I love them like they are bringing it I cannot wait for you guys to see this movie we're gonna have two premieres one here in St. Louis and the other in Detroit so of course I want my T-Squad members to show up and show the fuck out and rep for your girl because I am declaring by the grace of God that I will be cancer free and hitting that red carpet with my new ho titties ho Keisha it will be back in full effect I just cannot wait to be able to wear all of the tops that I've dreamed about wearing my whole life that I was never able to wear I've never been able to wear a half bra because my breasts were too heavy like my whole life my breasts have literally been laying on my lap <laughs> I can't wait to have perky boobs that sit up this is gonna be great and I just like I said overall just can't wait to be cancer free and I pray that it never comes back I'm speaking in the name of Jesus once again thank you guys for all of your love and supporting your prayers and your words of encouragement they mean the world to me keep them coming keep praying for me I love you guys um from the bottom of my heart continue to support my channel and my books and everything that i do i love you guys and make sure that you thumbs up this video my phone is ringing as you can hear um thumbs up this video like and subscribe hit that notification bell button and i will see you guys on the next video